Hello my dear friends, welcome to my new video. In this today's video, I present for your master teacher of little dear sir channel is here with you a very new and interesting topic that is chapter 8 body movements of class 6 science. So in this today's video, we are going to learn about the body movements. But before the starting, like, share and subscribe our channel little dear sir and turn in the comment box to like this video because we are the one of the channel which give you free education. First of all, let's start with the starting. As when we have our human body and in the human body there are various types of things such as bones, muscles, organs, cells, tissues and etc. So, body movements means there are the many types of uh, systems in our body. One of them is a skeletal system. So, the in this chapter we will learn about the skeletal system. How the skeletal system works, what are the parts of the skeletal system and how does it function. First of all, we will learn about the joints. As you know, we have the bones in our body. How many bones are there in our body? Yes, exactly. We have 206 bones in our body. And the small child uh, which are now only born, they are having more than 300 bones in their body. So, now an adult person has 206 bones in his or her body. So, now first thing what we are going to learn that is joints. What are joints? Joints are the places in the body where two or more bones meet. Means, suppose, have you seen the train? Suppose there is one train derailing from here and one train derailing from here. So, for some time, the second train stops to pass the first train. But, here the two bones interact with each other. So, the places where in the body where two or more bones meet is called as the joints. This is the main definition of the joints. In the simple joints, two bones meet, whereas compound joints more than two bones meet. So, in the joints, there are two types of joints. Which two types of joints? First is the simple joint. What is the first one? First one is the simple joint and second one is the compound joint now you can note in your copies that what are joints joints are the places in the body where two or more bones meet and there are the two types of joints that simple joints and compound joints what are simple joints when two bones meet each other now here we have elbow elbow here two bones meet this one bone and this one bone so it is a simple joint okay next we have the types of joints first of all we have the joint that is ball and socket joint we have ball and socket joint in such a joint the rounded end of one bone which end rounded end so here one bone is rounded okay fits into the cavity of the other bone. So, here is the other bone. It like this. Fits in this other bone. So, this is called as the ball and the socket joint. Now, here is the trick for you. This is like a ball and this is like a socket in which the ball is there. So, this is called as the ball and socket joint. The joint allows movement in all the directions. Now, example is our elbow. Now, elbow has a ball and socket joint. This one has a socket and this one has a ball inside it, this uh, bone. So, it can take a uh, means movement in direction of all. Now, if you play cricket, you take the balling because of the ball and socket joint, you can throw the ball. Next, example, shoulder joint. As I told you, shoulder joints are there. Next, we have here thigh joint. I will show you. Yes, this is our thigh joint. Okay, so this one also has the ball and socket joint and it allows the movement in all the directions. Okay. 
yes now we learned about the boil and soak it then next we have the pivotal joint which joint we have we have the pivotal joint now what is a pivotal joint a pivotal joint is a cylindrical bowl rotating in a ring now this is a cylindrical bowl which is which uh, rotates in a ring this is the ring and it rotates in the ring example our neck neck has the pivotal joint and the neck uh, it has a cylindrical bone and down side there is a ring by which we can uh, do the uh, our neck rotation it allows the movement in forward backward right and left direction now you can't move in every direction your neck but right left uh, sorry right left forward backward these are the four directions example joint where neck joins the head this one okay it joins the neck joins the head so it is a pivotal joint next we have a hinge joint yes next we have a hinge joint yes we will now learn about the hinge joint it allows movement in only one direction now hinge joint allows the movement in only one direction now it has also a trick now when you see a door door has a hinge so by which we can close and only open it we can't take it up and we can't take it down so it allows the direction in only one direction that is sorry ha uh -huh, one direction that is upward and downward now you can take the door front and back but the hinge joint can take it upward and downward example elbow now elbow elbow we have the hinge joint now it only uh, allows us to take it upward downward we can't turn it left and right so it has a hinge joint next we have fi fixed joint as its name we can understand what is the fixed joint okay yes fix the bones cannot move at these points now the bones or the joints which cannot move are called as the fixed joints bones in our head joint in upper jaw and rest of the head now now here we don't have only one skull there are the many parts of the skull which make our whole skull but they are not moving so that is the example of the fixed joint next we have the upper jaw when we are talking our only the lower jaw is uh, moving up and down our upper jaw is uh, fixed there so it is also an example of fixed joint okay next we have skeleton what is a skeleton skeleton provides a framework of our body now if there is no skeleton uh, only our flesh is there and we don't have a skeleton we can't do anything it helps in the movements of our body because uh, without the skeleton our human body is nothing and because of the bones because of our skeleton we are living it provides support and shape now our body if there are no bones we will be lying on the floor because it has no support but here we have the support of our uh, backbone legs so we can stand but uh, so the skeleton works it also gives a posture to our body if you are standing like this it gives a bad posture to your body but if you are standing straight it gives a good posture to your body as you develop next we have the rib cage now rib cage pro uh, protects the lungs we have this in our chapter that is respiration in organisms if you not seen the video go to our little dear sir channel there we have the respiration in organisms class 7th there you can see the rib cage and all the working of the lungs ribs join the chest bone and the backbone together to form a rib cage rib joins the chest bone this is our chest bone and the backbone this chest bone and the backbone it joins together it provides protection to important internal parts of the body what is this important part yes you are correct that is lungs which we are using to do respiration or breathing so it uh, lungs are very means uh, we can say it uh, nasuk uh, they are uh, very sensitive so uh, to protect them we have the rib cage 
Next, we have the most important part of our skeleton system that is backbone. What is a backbone? Now, when you play anything or do anything, the most important part is your backbone. Without the backbone, you can't st uh, miss stand upright. It is made up of many small bones. Now, it has the many small bones. And about that bones, we will learn in our next video. The ribcage is joined to these bones. So, this ribcage is joined to the backbone as we have seen here. Ribcage joins the chest and the backbone. Okay. It is the most important part. Backbone. Ribcage it pro uh, protects the lungs. And next we have the skeleton. Next we have the shoulder bones. Pelvic bones. Now, uh, yes. Shoulder bones or pelvic bones. They enclose the uh, portion of the body below the stomach. Now the body which is below the stomach. Here when you... Uh, uh, below the stomach when you put your hand here so you can see a hard substance a bone is there hard bone uh, beside your stomach or uh, so uh, here we have the pelvic bone okay skull it is made of the many bones joined together skull is made of the many bones it is not only one bone so it is a fixed joint it includes the pro it, it it includes and protects a very important important part of the body the brain the brain is the most important part of, our part of our body. It is also called as the computer of the human body. Uh, so, the brain is the most important part and the skull protects the brain. And skull is a very, very, very means hard uh, bone. Cartilage. These are not as hard as the bones and can be bent. Now, when two bones are there, they have, they don't have some glue or because they are uh, fixed together. They have the cartilage. Cartilage are not strong as the bones, but they uh, means take the two bones together and allow them movement. Working of the muscles. How does the muscles work? Muscles always work in the pairs, help the bones to move. Now, without the muscles, bones are nothing. Everything is chained together. So, mu muscles always work with the bones. Now, let's take some experiment. What we will do is, take your hand like this, now, and put your hand on this, uh, uh, on this hand, okay? And when you take it up, you can feel there is a muscle contraction and relaxation. So, here we can understand that the muscles are working with the bones. Okay. Next, when one muscle contracts, the other bone is pulled in that direction. Now, when the muscle contracts, the bone is pulled in the other direction. The other pair of the muscle relax to move the bone in the opposite side. So, this mechanism of the muscles. Next, moment in earthworm. Next, we have the two creatures that is earthworm and the cockroach. How does they? move the earthworm moves by alternate expansion and contraction of the muscles so earthworm moves by the alternate expansion and contraction of the muscles so muscles contract extract contract extract and the earthworm moves the bristles on the underside of the body helps in gripping the ground and move forward so there are the small ring like structures the earthworm have which helps in the grip on the ground and to move forward it it secretly slimy substance which further helps in easy movement it is a very important part of the earthworm which helps in the movement movement in snail next we have the snail so which has a shell on it and uh, goes slowly 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 it moves with the help of the muscular food made of strong muscle now it is a very small creature it has a very hard shell also its muscle is very hard if the snail is going on a sharp blade, then also its muscles do not get cut because it is very, very hard and delicate. It shows a wavy motion. Wavy motion is uh, means going in Z. Okay. Next, we have the cockroach. Have three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings. Means six legs and two wings. Uh, sorry, four wings. Muscles near to the legs move the legs uh, for walking and 
breast muscles move the wings for flying so the wings uh, help the cockroach to fly and the muscles near the foot helps to walk birds they have hollow and light bones Steam, uh, streamlined body birds have the hollow bones means very light bones streamlined body means the body designed for uh, doing a particular activity suppose uh, fish fish has a streamlined body to swim uh, birds have the streamlined body to fly four limbs and modified to wings so they have the wings shoulder bones are strong their shoulder bones are strong hind limbs help in walk and perching so they have the foot limbs which help in uh, walking and perching fish in fish the muscle make the front part of the body curve to one side and tail pan moves to the other side and this makes a jerk and pushes the body forward so it go uh, the front part moves and the uh, back part of it moves back side so it moves forward or in any direction this is helped by fins of a tail so it is used by the fins of the tail movement in cockroach mm, yes next we have the movement in snake the snake body curls in loops loops means i mean the same thing going like this like this zigzag 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 okay each loop of the snake gives a forward push by pressing against the ground means the forward push is there and it goes by pressing the ground thin muscles are connected to the backbone rib so it has a backbone rib and which is connected to the muscles so i hope you understood the chapter that is body movements and and you would like this video if you like this video like share and subscribe our channel little dear sir and tell in the comment box do you like this video we are welcome in your channel little dear sir